There's a security car there, I don't know why it's there. Just stares, he looks like a right creep, you know, one of those that are like fucking Madeline McCann's. Hey up, that's another topic, Madeline McCann. Now I was gonna use this, but um it don't fit over there. It's a different it's a weird thing. I need to get some sort of stand or something. But there's a security car over there and he looks like a right creep. And I'm not even lying to you. He looks like a right creepy little muppet and he's got a sign at the back of his car and he's just sitting there watching. Like, what's he watching? There's nothing to pick up on. The car park's not even closed. So I went in there and he was just staring. I was there, like, just a weird person. He just came across as a weird person overall. But anyway, another thing we got to talk about, Madeline McCann. Is she dead or is she still alive? Comment down below right now. If you don't know who Madeline McCann is, should, should I explain it or do you want to go find out? All right, I'll tell you because you're watching the video. So she was a, a little girl on holiday with her parents. She was three years, three years old she was. 2007 in pra Praia do Luiz in Portugal or something and they left the kids the parents left the kids inside um, the apartment locked up and everything apparently you never know the full story do you um, and she got abducted and she's been missing for 13 years 13. She would have been 17 like yesterday or something. It is fucking mad. Now I've watched some videos this morning about where the fuck it can be. They got loads of investigators in, right? They got loads of investigation, like fucking top people from America, South Africa. And I watched this one from South Africa. And um, he could locate DNA from um, from like the hair and he put it in some sort of machine and it told him where where the f like I don't know I think it's a lot of bollocks because how can you get a piece of hair right I swear to god I weren't dreaming this was this morning got a piece of hair put it in some machine or something and it told told you where she was or where where she was in the region of and it worked apparently done loads of missing kids and that and um, they found him in like across the world and shit just off a piece of hair and he put it in the machine or some shit it was mad I didn't believe it but anyway so he did it for Madeline McCann and um, it said she was in the place where she got kidnapped or in the area but they did it like a month later she said she was still in that place and people are there like, well, why would she be still there? Why, you know what I mean? Why, why, if you kidnapped her, why would you still be in that that area? Why would you not go? Because people are around that area. Anyway, um, people think she's dead. People think she's still alive. She's probably like a, a sex slave or something. That's what I'm thinking. But where is she gonna be? Because this. What happened on the news this morning is there's, um, there's a new suspect in the case. 13 years later, there's a new suspect in the case. And I don't quite know what to think of that. My mum thinks she's dead or he's killed her. So there's a German paedophile who raped old people and kids. So it was anywhere he raped anyone. And he was in Portugal in 2007, around about the time when she was. He went about in a camper van. Actually, he was there for 10 years. He went about in a camper van. You know them ones off like, you know the film Cars? You know them old ones, like a proper American old Volkswagen one? Like road ones, like. You wouldn't buy one unless you were like 
hippie or something. That sort of one. And um, he used to travel about in it. He used to have like two apartments or something, apparently. That's what they're saying on the news. But who knows? I don't know shit. Um, so he was in that area. Oh, he made a phone call the day of kidnap the kidnapping. And then he left that area. Like, moved to try getting out of the country or some shit, I don't know. And it's called Christian B, he's called. He's German, he's in German prison now for doing nasty shit. He's got a long sentence, but... Imagine if someone comes up with this, 2020 is a fucking madness, I'm telling you, like... I've seen it on Twitter, you can see it where people are putting, like, um... Firstly, it was fucking... World War Three <laughs> At the start of the year between USA and China. And then it's like a Breaking Bad scene and coronavirus pandemic. And now Madeleine McCann. What the fuck is going on? But anyway, he had a, a Jaguar as well. The day that she went missing, he sold it to someone else and then moved in his properties and shit. But the news are all over his properties now. But how can you get evidence if someone else lives there and it's 13 years later? I doubt even DNA stays around that long. Or does it? Human DNA. Like if I put my my finger on the, like the steering wheel or the window now and I leave it for 10 years, do you think that's going to be there still? They're going to get a trace of that. That was me. I don't know. Funny how it works, but we'll see. It will be an absolute madness if Madeleine McCann is still alive or they find the body or something because they don't even know where they are and I've seen the Netflix documentary thing saying that um, the parents killed her and stuff because there's, there's loads of different theories you'll have to make it up like not make it up but you'll have to watch a load of YouTube videos and a load of like Netflix series about it because in the Netflix series I think they're trying to put it on a um, Put it on the parents that they killed, killed the daughter and covered it up. And like, stuff like, you know, you won't react the way you would react if you lost your kid. Or if they got kidnapped, they didn't react the way a parent would. You know, you know what I mean? Like, you'd be panicky like fuck. But instead, they were like, calm, collected, like, no, we wouldn't do that. No, no. Why would we even do that? I mean... Where would we hide the body? Why, 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 why would, why would we do that? I mean, where, where's the bloody? What, do you th yeah, whatever. But they've found evidence of blood in their own car, their own car that they rented, or in England or something. They found Madeleine McCann's blood in there. So, it's a bit fucked. I don't know what happened, but I want to see if she does get found, or you know, if the case closes. Because imagine, like, now the parents get arrested or they find her or they announce she's dead or they find the body. Oh, my God. Absolute madness. I, I just can't. It's fucking mad, this life, you know. I can't get over it. The shit that goes on. You don't think it, but this is all history now. Like, I don't know if history is going to be taught in um, a few years, you know. I don't know if we're going to need it. But it's mad. Like, people are going to be studying about the era I'm living in. That's what fucking gets me. It's, it's crazy to think that. Mad. So it's like... Oh, remember, I want you to go research 2020, kids, what happened in 2020. Like, to us, we're living in it. It doesn't seem like... It does seem like a big deal, but... It doesn't seem like a big deal until, like, you... You know when you learn about World War Two and all that, and you're like, fuck me. I can't... You know, I'm lucky not to live in that era. Like, 
you know what I mean? I don't know if he gets that feeling about this, no. Like in America, I wouldn't want to live there, definitely not. But anyway, comment down below, tell me what you think about this whole Madeleine McCann scene. Subscribe, like, comment. I'm just talking what I'm talking. Let me know.